Hi there, and thanks for joining in today. We're going to uh, take a quick look at a few techniques that I have on the admin side for Creo Parametric software. So I'm uh, an instructor for PTC, and I do some uh, training for customers. And one of the common questions that I have people uh, bring up is, if you don't have a PLM slash PDM system, how do you manage your CAD data? Well, you typically have to store the files you know, in a network drive or on some sort of a designated drive in order to maintain everything. Well, how do you keep control of all of that, and how do you, you know, find certain files, uh, control your libraries if you want to take advantage of UDF files or common components that are going to be used over and over regularly, fasteners, etc.? What's the process for doing that? Well, the quick and dirty answer is uh, we build ourselves a search uh, command that we're going to have Creo point to using our config.pros. And the task that I'm going to show you today is how to build one of those. Now, this isn't my uh, information here. I had actually done some research several years ago when I had started my own company and was trying to figure this uh, technique out. I found a, a YouTube channel, and a gentleman had a technique on there. Uh, it was in uh, Japanese. I didn't understand what he was saying, but I could follow along on the picks and clicks that he had all, along the way. So I will give a shout out to him and uh, put his name and a link to his video below. And I'm also going to give a quick shout out here. I have a document here for uh, we're going to use the DIR command inside of our uh, in environment. And I want to make sure that I've got a document here to allow you to see what some of those attributes and commands are if you want to modify or change yours in the slightest bit at all. So uh, the website is uh, computerhope.com and it's uh, slash dirhlp.htm. Again, I'll put a link to the web page and uh, make sure that I'm calling those guys out for their uh, very useful information here. So let's take a quick uh, look here. And as you can see right here, I've got a, a directory and I've got it set up here. I have a libraries folder. So let's take a look in here real quick. And as you can see, there's a lot of different components. Uh, being an instructor and uh, working for a company that does uh, work for many different industries and different companies, I've got a lot of different formats and templates and different things that I'm looking at here, symbols, uh, sketcher palettes. So it's uh, quite daunting and can have a lot of information in here. So the technique that I'm going to show you how to do here is let's take a look at, go back up here, and let's open up one of our configurations. Make sure we've got the right one here. Open this up. Okay, what I meant to do was have a Creo open here. I'm going to open it up and just take a quick look. We're going to be looking at uh, several of the options in the config.pro. So we're going to come down here and go to our options and then go to the configuration editor. And what we need to do here is we need to put in a search path. Uh, to a search file that we're going to use, which is basically going to document all of the locations for where all of our hardware, all of our standard components are, where our library components are going to be at. So we'll put that in here. We'll come back to this. But I just want to show you this is where we're going to get to that information. And again, here's my formatting here. This is the different folder structures that we have. So the command that we're going to teach you today, and if you, you may already know this one, but let's just show you the technique for doing this. So uh, I've got all my data on my D drive. So let me switch over to my D drive here. And then I'm going to change directories. All right. And as you can see here, here's all my folder structures. And again, I want to create a folder structure here that's going to identify every one of the subfolders along with these folders here so that Creo knows at all times where all these files are. And we'll go through another demonstration in another video later on how to point all of your commands and all of your uh, different items to these different locations once we have the search path set up. So the technique for doing this. All right, so I'm going to back up out of here one directory. All right, and I've got my libraries folder in there. So the command we're going to use is just a simple DIR. You just saw me type that in several times, but we're going to use a few attributes along the way. So I'm going to bring over the document here and just show you real quick. So again, this is the document. I copied it right from the web page, which is listed right here at the bottom, computerhope.com, dir slash uh, help.html, or htm there. And we're going to use a couple of techniques in here. We're going to use this uh, forward slash a, and then we're going to use another attribute inside of that d to list the directory. So we're going to uh, display the files with specified attributes, and the attribute we're going to display here are just the directory file names. The other modifier we're going to use here is the forward slash b, 
we just want to use a bare format for this. And then finally at the bottom here we're going to use a forward slash s which will display the files in the specified directory and all of the subdirectories. So we're going to have everything called out at one time and be able to see all of that information here. All right, so let's take a look and uh, let's create that. Okay, so I'm going to type in the following, dir slash a d forward slash b and then forward slash s. And then we're going to output that to a file here. So we're going to use the uh, open bracket here, put a space, and then I'm going to have it write a file here. I'm going to have it put it in my working directory and let's call it a search test.pro. So I'll run that pretty quick. It runs through there, runs real fast. And now if we go into my working directory here, I can see I got a search test.pro file that's been created. So let's go ahead and pull that up. And now you can see, this is quite a, quite a list. So look over here to my right hand side. And you can see I have over 1,534 lines that have been generated, showing me all the different folders that are in this uh, directory now. So for the most part, you're ready to go. But if you're like me and you're a little obsessed with getting things organized and how things are looking in here, you can go through this and you can use some information just to kind of put you know, where things are going to be stored or what's being stored in those locations here. So we have our, our coloring schemes here. I have some customer information that I've got in certain areas here. So let me scroll through a little bit more. And I'm going to take a look down a little bit farther here. So, and let's just put in a location here. Come down here. Here's my uh, connectors folder. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to put a space in here, forward slash asterisk, to give me a, a place that I can just type in some information. And let's just call this one connectors. All right, so we can scroll on through, see any other ones we have here. Oh, there's a, yeah, another folder structure. Let me uh, designate this one here. Here's my fasteners. So forward slash with the asterisk, fasteners. And let's just call it fasteners and fittings. All right, so I've got all my fittings libraries in there as well. forward slash asterisk and call this one Creo standard format. And again, this is standard for me. These are the ones I'm going to commonly use for my customers. So that would be those locations there. So, And again, I can go through, clear all these up, and I can spend some time. Usually I will. I'll spend a little bit of time of cleaning these up and making sure I have everything where I want it. Just make it easier. So the next time that I add a folder or something like that, I can quickly just come in here, copy in the new file locations, drop them in here without having to go through this task all over again, and just add to this document. Now it's a living document, I can go ahead and modify it anytime I want, add new folders, new structures, new directories, or whatever else I want to. And again, what I'm talking about specifically here, just keeping control over my standard components, my standard sketch templates, my standard formats, things that I'm going to be using over and over again. Now the same command, I've seen people use it to kind of track over you know, their files as well, uh, keep control over the file locations where things are being called out, um, you know, and different customer projects and things like that, just to avoid uh, commonly uh, renaming components with the wrong naming conventions and making sure when you have this set up there, Creo's kind of got a path to where all your files are at, so it'll look through there and if it sees something it doesn't like, it'll go ahead and tag it and flag it and tell you, hey, this file's already been created. So you don't have double, you know, double uh, socket head cap screws dot part called out in those directories. So. Um, but for right now, again, we're just going to uh, give a couple of these spaces in here. I'll make sure we have identified them. And I've got another folder here. Let's just call this one forward slash hardware. And because I'm moving all this uh, data around, I've just relocated everything onto a new uh, computer. So I don't have everything in the, in the proper orders of the folders that I uh, typically like to have involved here. So I'm just going to uh, change one more here. there. Alright, so I'll go ahead and I'm going to save that right there and close that window. Okay, so now how do I take advantage of that? I have it ready to go. The search test.pro has been created for me. So let's go ahead and we'll jump in back into Creo. And let me go ahead and just walk you through this here. Let's go up to File, go to Options, we'll go to Configuration Editor. And then let's just use the Find command here. So we're going to type in Search And we have our search paths and how we can set things up here. So two things we want to start with. Search paths specifies the list of directories to search in order uh, for an object's file retrieval. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to designate that that libraries folder where I was uh, just at. I'm going to uh, cruise here, go back to my working folder, and then I'm going to locate the libraries folder right here. Select libraries. So the working libraries, I'm going to add that change in there. And then I have a search path file. So right now, and again, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select on browse. I'm going to go back to my working directory, and here I have my search test.pro file that I had created and generated with all the edifications that I've uh, added into that. So let's open that up, and let's add that one as well. And I'll go ahead and close it. So now you can see my two uh, components here, my search path, and then I've uh, selected a search path file of what I want to have. I pre-already had one in here, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure we've got that. And that's just pointing to some Creo files as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to delete that one out of here. And select OK and not save it for right now and there we go we'll have our library set up so if we do any libraries here there's my uh, mannequin libraries if I come in any other library folders that I have system formats will all be pointed to that right directory I took out my formatting there for my uh, system formats but again just showing you some of the uh, locations where these components would be and how they'll be set up We'll come back and we'll do another video and show you how to you know, point everything to those new directories once we have the search paths all you know, set up and in place like we do here. But that'll take care of uh, test one. Uh, if you like the video here, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if there's anything you'd like to see or you'd like uh, for me to demonstrate, go ahead and add it to the comments there. I'll take a look at those and we'll see if we can get something added to you. So thanks for taking the time today. Hope you enjoyed this video and got some use out of it. Any questions or anything I can help you with? Just drop me a message down in the comments here and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for your time and have a good day.